Shura Gahabir, Bishmahir Rahimir Rahim, Ha Amen. The, rev the revelation of the book, I the Quran, is from Allah, the exalted in might, the knowing. The forgiver of sins, the scepter of repentance, the severe in punishment, honor of abundance. There is no deity except him. To him is the destination. The destination. No one disputes concerning the signs of Allah except those who disbelieve. So be not deceived by their unhabitable, inhabited movement throughout the land. The people of Noah denied before them and the disbelieving factions after them, and every nation intended a plot for their messenger to seize him. And they disputed, disputed by using falsehood to attempt invad, invalidate thereby in truth. So I seized them, and how terrible was my penalty. And thus has the word I, i.e. decree of your Lord come into effect upon those who disbelieve that they are companions of the fire, hell. Those angels who carry the throne and those around it exalt Allah with praise of their Lord and believe in him and ask for forgiveness for those who have believed, saying, O oh Lord, you have encompassed all things in mercy and knowledge. So forgive those who have repented and followed your way, and protect them from the punishment of the hellfire, hell. Our Lord, and admit to them gardens of perpetual residence, which you have promised and promised them, and whoever was righteous among their forefathers are spouses and their offspring. Indeed, it is you who is the exalted in might, the wise. And protect them from the evil consequences of their deeds. And he whom you protect from the evil consequences that day you will have given him mercy, and that is the greatest attainment. Indeed, those who disbelieve will be addressed. The hatred of Allah for you was even greater than you, your hatred of yourselves. This day in hell, when you were invited to faith, but you disbelieve, I refused. They will say, Our Lord, you made us lifeless twice and gave us life twice and we have confessed our sins so is there to an, an exit in any way they will be told that is because when Allah was called upon alone you disbelieved but if others were associated with him you believed so the judgment is with Allah, the Most High, the Grand. It is He who shows you His signs and sends down to you from the sky provisions. But none will remember except the Sapi who turns his back in repentance. So invoke Allah being sincere to Him and religion, although the disbelievers dislike it. He is the exalt above all, decrees owner of the throne. He places the inspiration of his command, i.e. revelation, upon whom he wills of his servants and warn of the day of meeting. The day they come forth, nothing concerning them will be concealed from Allah. To whom belongs all sovereignty this day, to Allah the one prevailing. This day every soul will be recompensed for what they what it earned. No injustice today. Indeed Allah is swift in account. 
and warn them, O oh, Muhammad, of the approaching day when hearts are at the thro throats filled with distress. For the wrongdoers, there will be no devotion friend, no devoted friend, and no intercessor who is obeyed. He knows that which deceives the eyes and what the breasts conceal. And Allah judges the truth while those they invoke besides him judge not with anything indeed Allah he is hearing and seeing. Have they not traveled through the land and observe how was the end of those who were before them? They were greater than them in strength and in impression on the land, but Allah sees them for their sins, and they had not from Allah any protector. That was because their messengers were coming to them with clear proofs, but they disbelieved, so Allah seized them. Indeed, he is powerful and severe in punishment. And we did certainly send Moses with our signs and a clear authority to Pharaoh, Haman, and Quran. But they said, he is a magician and a liar. And when he brought, to, brought them the truth from us, they said, kill the sons of those who have believed with him and keep their women alive. But the plan of the disbelievers is not except in error. And Pharaoh said, let me kill Moses and let him call upon his Lord. Indeed, I fear that he will ch change your religion or that he will cause corruption in your lands. But Moses said, Indeed, I have sought refuge in my Lord, and your Lord from every arrogant one who does not believe in the day of account. And a believing man from the family of Pharaoh who concealed his faith said, Do, not, do you kill a man mere because he says my Lord is Allah? While he has brought you a clear proof from your Lord, and if he sh should be lying, then upon him is the consequences of his lie. But if he should be truthful, there will strike you some of what he promised you. Indeed, Allah does not guide. Uh, indeed, Allah does not guide one who is a transgression transgressor and a liar. O oh, my people, sovereignty is yours today. You're being dom dominant in the land, but who would protect us from the punishment of Allah if it came to us? Pharaoh said, I do not show you except what I see, and I do not guide you except to the way of the right conduct. And he who believed said, O oh, my people, indeed I fear for you a fate like the day of the companies, like the custom of the people of Noah and of Ad and Thumud, Thamud, and those after them, Allah had, and Allah wants no justice for his servants. And Allah wants no injustice for his servants. And O oh my people, indeed I fear for you the day of calling. The day you will return you will turn your backs fleeing, there is not for you from Allah any protector. And whoever Allah sends astray, there is not for him any guide. And Joseph 
had already come to you before with clear proofs, but you remain in doubt of, a, of that which he brought to you until when he died, you said, never will Allah send a messenger after him. Thus does Allah leave astray who, he who is a transgressor and a skeptic. Those who dispute concerning the signs of Allah without a authority having come to them, great is hatred of them in the sight of Allah and in the sight of those who have believed. Thus does Allah seal over every heart belonging to an arrogant tyrant. And Pharaoh said, O Haman, construct me a tower that I might reach the ways, the ways into the heavens, so I may look at the deities of Moses. But indeed, I think he is a liar. And thus was made attractive to Pharaoh the evil of his deeds, and he was averted from the right way, and the plan of Pharaoh was not except in ruin. And he who believed said, O oh, my people, follow me, and I will guide you to the way, way of right conduct. O oh, my people, this worldly life is only temporary enjoyment, and indeed, the hereafter that is the home of the permanent settlement. Whoever does evil deeds will not be recompensed except by the like of thereof. But whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, those will enter paradise, be given provision therein without account. And oh my people, how is that? How is it that I invite you to salvation while you invite me to the fire, hell? You invite me to disbelieve in Allah and associate with Him that of which I have no knowledge, and I invite you to the exalted in might the perpetual forgiver. Assuredly to assuredly that to which you invite me as no responder to a supplication in this world or in the hereafter, and indeed our return is to Allah, and indeed the transgressors will be companions of the fire, hell. And you will remember what I now say to you, and I entrust my affair to Allah. Indeed, Allah is seeing of his servants. So Allah protects him from the evils they plot, and the people of Pharaoh were enveloped by the worst of punishment. The fire, hell, they are exposed to morning and evening, and the day of the hour appears will it will be said make the people of pharaoh enter the severest punishment and mention when they will argue within the fire hell and the weak will say to those who had been arrogant indeed we were only your followers so Will you relieve us of a share of the fire? Hell. Those who had been arrogant will say, Indeed, all of, all of us are in it. Indeed, Allah has judged between the servants. And those who are in fire, hell, will say to the keepers of hell, Suffocate your Lord to lighten for us a day from the punishment. They will say, Did there not 
come to you, your messengers, will with clear proofs, they will say yes. They will reply, then supplicate yourselves, but your supplication of the disbelievers is not except in error. I fertility. Fertility. Indeed, we will support our messengers and those who believe during the life of this world and on the day when the witnesses will stand the day their excuse will not benefit the wrongdoers and they will have the curse and they will have the worst home i held and we have certainly given Moses guidance, and we cause the children of Israel to inherit the scripture as guidance and a reminder for those of understanding. So be patient, O Muhammad. Indeed, the promise of Allah is truth, and ask for forgiveness for your sin. And is all Allah with praise of your Lord and the evening and in the morning indeed those who dispute concerning the signs of allah without any evidence having come to them there is not within their breast except pride the extent of which they cannot reach so seek refuge in allah indeed it is he who is the hearing and seeing the creation of the heavens and earth is greater than the creation of mankind but most of the people do not know. And not equal are the blind and the seen, nor are those who believe and do righteousness deeds and the evildoer. Little do you remember, indeed the hour is come, no doubt about it, but the most of the people do not believe. And your Lord says, call upon me and call upon me, I will respond to you. Indeed, those who disdain my worship will enter hell, rendering contemptible. It is Allah who made you the night that you may rest therein and the day giving recite. Indeed, Allah is the possessor of bounty for his people but most of them are not grateful. That is Allah, your Lord, creator of all things. There is no deity except him. So how are you deluded? Thus were those before you deluded who were rejecting the signs of Allah. It is Allah who made you from earth, made you from, it is Allah who made you the earth a place for of settlement and the sky a structure a ceiling and formed you and perfected your forms and provided you with good tidings that is allah your lord then bless is allah lord of the worlds he is ever living there is no deity except him so call upon him being the sincere to him in religion. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. Say, O Muhammad, indeed I have been forbidden to worship those who call upon besides Allah once the clear proofs have come to me from my Lord, and I have been commanded to submit to the lords of the worlds. It is he who created you from dust and then from a sperm drop, then from clinging clot, then he brings, brings you out as a child. Then he develops you that you reach your time of maturity, then further that you become elders. And among you is he who is taken in death before that so that you reach a specific term, perhaps you will use reason. He is, he it is who get, 
gives life and causes death. And when he decrees a matter, but says to it, be and it is. Do you not consider those who dispute concerning the sign, signs of Allah? How are they averted? Those who deny the book, I the Quran, and that which, that with which we sent our messengers, they are going to know. When the shackles are around their necks and the chins, they will be dragged. In boiling water, in the fire, they will be filled with flame. Then it, it will be said to them, Where is that which you used to associate with him in worship? Other than Allah, they will say, They have departed from us. Rather, we did not use to invoke previously anything. Thus does Allah put astray the disbelievers. The angels will say, That was because you had to result upon the earth without right and you used to behave insolently insolently enter the gates of hell and abide eternally therein and the wretched is the residence of the arrogant so be patient O muhammad indeed the promise of allah is truth and whether we show you some of what we have promised them or we take you in death it is to us they will be rendered will be returned and we have already sent messengers before you among them are those who stories we have related to you and among them are those who stories we have not related to you and it is and it was not for any messenger to bring a sign or verse, except by permission of Allah. So when the command of Allah comes to comes, it will be concluded, I judge in truth. And the falsifiers will thereupon lose all. It is Allah who made you and it is Allah who, who made you, no, it is Allah made for you the grazing livestock animals upon which you ride and some of you eat. And for you therein others benefits and, and that you may realize upon them a need which is in your breast and upon them and upon the ships you are carried and he shows you his signs so which of the signs of allah do you deny have they not traveled through the land and observed how was the end of those before them they were more numerous than themselves and greater in strength and an impression on the land but they were not availed by what they used to do used to earn and when their their messengers came to them with clear proofs they merely rejoiced in what they had of knowledge but they were enveloped by what they used to ridicule and when they say saw our punishment they said we believe in allah alone and we disbelieve that which we used to associate with him but never did their faith benefit them once they saw our punishment it is the established way of allah which has proceeded among his servants and the disbelievers thereupon lost all